Hello guys, in this video I am going to introduce you to Aya101 which is a model from Cohere and the beauty of this model is that it is massively multilingual. When we say massively multilingual it means that it enables you to have a discussion or translation in more than 100 languages across the globe and how fantastic is that. Right now, if you look at most of the large language models, they are English or maybe Chinese oriented and you don't find many models which are multilingual. But this model, IA101 enables you to translate from one language to another with quite an ease and you can mix and match the languages. And this is so fantastic that I really don't have words to thank and cherish these people from Cohere. Now, these are the languages which it currently supports as you can see now if you look at this that they have grouped the languages into higher mid and lower resourcedness on the language classification so but look at the list of language it includes uh, you know languages like western frisian which is a germanic old language even the gaelic language <laughs> so it is really interesting then some regional languages from india like gujarati and then Hindi, of course, is there, Hungarian, Igbo, which is again from the Atlantic Congo. There are many languages I am more than sure you haven't even heard of. And then there are languages from, uh, as I said, you know, Macedonia, Malagasy, from every continent of the world. Even Maori is there, which is um, a Polynesian small island near Australia, which is my country. And then there are a lot of languages from remote and far away places. And then, um, for example, even from the Atlantic Congo, which is a very, very small area, you will see that there are multiple language languages even from there. And then you can see European, African languages, amazing stuff. And then they have Urdu there too, which is my mother tongue and I believe one of the most beautiful languages out there, especially when it comes to uh, romantic poetry, which is called as Ghazal. So there is no match of Urdu. Maybe I am biased, but well, that it is. Um, and then there are a lot of beautiful languages like Yoruba, Zulu, and Chinese is there, of course. So these are the list of languages which you can enjoy with this beautiful model, which is Aya101. Now, if you go into further detail, then this model is really unique because it is a massively multilingual generative language model that follows instructions in 101 languages and that is the name Aya101. Aya outperforms MT0 and blooms on a wide variety of automatic and human evaluation despite covering double the number of languages. The Aya model is trained using XP3X Aya dataset, Aya collection, which is a subset of data provenance collection, and also share GBT command. They have released a checkpoint under the Apache 2 license to further their mission of multilingual technologies improving a, empowering a multilingual world. As I said, huge uh, shout out to Cohere for AI for releasing this model. And this model is simply a transformer style, autoregressive, massively multi language model. They also have a paper around it and maybe I will quickly show you if I could get my hands on it. So there is the model. I'll also share the link in video's description and then you can download the PDF to read um, further about this model has, how it has been developed and all that stuff. One um, interesting fact about its fine tuning, it has been developed using the batch size of 256 and they have used um, TPU v4128 and plus they have uh, used 25 million number of sample while fine tuning. And all data sets are subset to the 101 languages supported by MT5. And then um, there is also a fair warning about biases and risk and limitations because when you have a model of this size and this broad and diverse there is a always a fair amount of chance of hallucinations, biases and risk, but that is the case with every other model. Anyway, enough talk and enough theory. Let me take you to my local Ubuntu system and let's try to install it. Now a warning here 
the thing is that this model is 13 billion whereas i have gpu of only 16 gpu of vram on my local system but even then let's uh, that is not going to deter me to at least give it a try and install it locally so if it fails my apologies in advance it works happy days so i'm using my ubuntu 22.04 I already have installed uh, Transformers, Transformers library, but let me actually install it again. So pip install Transformers and dash dash upgrade. So let's upgrade it. It's always a good idea to upgrade it because they keep releasing new versions almost every day. So existing version is 4.37. So it's good that I checked it. Okay, so it has already, uh, so it has updated it to 4.37.2. You can ignore the other warnings if they are from my other um, installations which I did. Let me clear my screen. That is done. And now another thing which we need to do is to make sure that we have Torch installed. I'm more than sure I have it. So let me quickly check pip show Torch. Let's wait. That is good enough for me. Let's clear my screen. Now I already have Python installed. So let's go to Python interpreter by typing Python 3 let me inst uh, import the uh, modules for auto tokenizer and auto model auto model for sequence to sequence lm which is required for this sort of translation that's done let me import the checkpoint which is cohere for ai that is done let's specify the auto tokenizer here it is going to select the tokenizer let's wait for it to done that is done beautiful let's get the model which is the aya model let me paste the command here so you can see that now it is loading the shards and checkpoints in the size of the first tensor out of 11 is 4.94 i don't think so this is going to get installed here but you know what i am going to try it out or let's see let's wait for it to finish So it's been almost half an hour and I have downloaded around 10 shards out of 11 and the last shard is being downloaded of models tensors or the weights. So let's wait for it to finish. So this was an easy part. The real test comes when it downloads all of them and then tries to load it onto the GPU. So I'm not sure if that would work or not because it is still quite a big model um, for the 16 GPU VRAM but let's see. Let's try it out let's wait for it for this one to finish this is the last leg okay so all the shards are done and then now it is loading the shard so let's see if it is able to load them let's wait cross our fingers Shards are still being loaded, so I will let it run to see what happens here. But meanwhile, let me take you to the Cohere's playground where we can check this online. So let's try it out. So click on try Aya in the playground. You would have to sign in with your free for your free account with your email. Once you sign up, you will be presented with this. On the right hand side, make sure that you have selected this C4 Aya model once you have selected this then you can start playing around with it now in order to do that i already have uh, got some of the prompt which it's let me paste it in english paste it here and on the right bottom click on run and then in the blue section it is going to paste the response as you can see that it has pasted quite a large one so i'll just make it a bit bigger here and maybe like this so you, you would be able to see what it is typing so there you go maybe a little bit like this just yes, it's not okay not letting me print now it is working there you go this is the one now so this is the english response let me now paste the same prompt in let's say vietnamese so let me paste it in vietnamese I'm just using Google Translate to convert this English prompt into Vietnamese. Let's run it again. Let's see if it is able. Yeah, there you go. Looks good. 
now let's try out maybe dutch and then i will check out it in the dutch dutch language which is the language of netherlands let me so this is a dutch again click on run and now this is the dutch response here which is pretty cool let me try out in hindi so in hindi it says something like this let me click on run there you go so hindi response is there and i have checked it in google translate the response is pretty cool and as i said there are a lot of languages which you can use and the list is at uh, here too at the top you can see indonesian italian japanese and the list goes on and on and, on and they keep adding them so pretty cool i would say so really hats off to kuhir and i'll drop the link to this website too in video's description okay let's go back and check our shards and you can see that it is still uh, now it's killed okay so as we checked it is killed now so oh, which is out of memory what it means it could it could just load half of the model on my gpu anyway but at least you know that how this works and once you load it if you have access to the um, beefy gpu and you think that you can run it i will give you the commands in video description which you can run primarily there, there is only one command which you need and i'll just give it to you so for example if you want to translate something from english to turkish then you can just need you just need to give this command let me see if yeah so this is a command which you need to give let me make it bit bigger yeah so this is a command so you will just input this as a prompt once you have input this then all you need to do is to create the output and let me give you that command too you will use this command to give the output and just simply print the output and you will get your uh, answer there that's it guys i hope that you had some fun using it and then going through it i'm very impressed by this model by the way i wish i could use it properly on my uh, humble gpu but i couldn't but if i get my hands on it for sure i'm going to make another video and show you a lot of languages especially urdu as how it works locally and we might play around with some of the urdu poetry there or maybe some hindi dialogues to check it out anyway let me know your thoughts and if you are fortunate and lucky enough to run it locally please share your experience very keen to know about it and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching